Hickok 45 here, and I'm going to do some hunting because I have a hunting rifle, a Benelli Lupo. For those who don't know, Lupo means wolf in Italian. So let's see if we can hunt a red plate over there. Let's put the safety off. <laughs> Got me some game. How about another one? All right. How about a cinder block? Uh oh, there's a watermelon on it. Who did that? I think I missed. <laughs> and I have one more bullet. Let's try that uh, two liter over there. All right. That'll work. Pretty good game rifle. I think I could hunt with this, don't you? <laughs> yes, you know it. So anyway, this is the Lupo. And it's, well, I guess you'd call it a hunting rifle. Some people, especially young people, would think it's what? Yeah, sniper <laughs> rifle. Yes, it could be. Uh, it's how you define those terms, right? So it's, it's high tech. And I've been shooting at some. I haven't really had a lot of ammo. But I've shot enough that uh, I kind of like it. Uh, you know, uh, I, I really love a beautiful or even not so beautiful a wooden stock, a military surplus old rifle or a Model 70, my uh, Saco, a Model 85, you know, you know, I love it. This thing, it's a little bit like that Saco, Seiko, in that it, uh, it's got a great feeling bolt, it shoulders well, length of pull, it feels good. It's got a scope, of course. But uh, it, so it makes it a little different, but it, it's a really good feeling rifle, I have to say. And by the way, this scope goes with it, okay, on this one. It's a uh, Burris. This goes back, of course, to Budge for their E-Gunner. So just so you'll know, it's a Burris uh, Full Field E1, okay, 4.5 by 14 by 42. Seems like a pretty nice scope. I'm not that familiar. I'm not a scope expert, but it's got a nice clear uh, picture and... Uh, Feels pretty good. And it seems to be pretty much on. So uh, anyway, yeah, so this is 6.5 Creedmoor. And uh, I think this rifle has only been out about a, a year. Uh, I believe it's their first, Benelli's first uh, foray into the bolt action rifle biz. And uh, as I guess Benelli tries to do usually is do things right. It's, uh, I think it's got a one in nine twist on the barrel. It's a, uh, cryogenically treated you know frozen and all that uh it's a, it's it's a free floated there's a, a hardened steel barrel extension it rides on it's just really you know, put together well apparently the claim to fame is supposed to be extreme accuracy you know sub moa on this rifle now you know the kinds of shooting i do uh sub <laughs> for me uh, i'm just interested is it sub uh two liter, you know, that sort of thing. Sub, little red plate and all that sort of thing. Because I just shoot standing. I don't really enjoy getting down and bench resting much. But this thing probably, for someone who has extreme trigger control and really good at bench rest uh, shooting, uh, I'm sure would do really, really well with it. The uh, stock uh, is a, a has a nice cushion. I think that's a patent or Ben Ellis. It really, you know, has a nice absorption there. I think they have that on some of their shotguns. That progressive comfort it's called. The comb is soft, so it doesn't. Uh, if you got a big kicker, I guess I think they chamber this in maybe 300 Win Mag. I'm not sure, but some bigger cartridges than the Creedmoor. They kick more. So that would be nice. Uh, I know John and I both, we get beat up with the comb on some rifles. I don't know if we've got big jaw bones or what it is, but that that's pretty cool, you know, have that uh, soft, kind of a softer rubber there, which is ambidextrous, ambidextrous cheeks, right? So anyway, let's shoot it again. You can pull the uh, magazine out. Now this thing is about $1,500 just for the rifle, just depending on where you find it. And uh, so I'm not, whatever that scope is worth. So it's not cheap, but it seems to be well made. So you can load this uh, through the, just taking the magazine out like somebody just did, or you can load through the top. Maybe I'll put a couple in just to prove it to you. Let's put that back in and see if I was lying. Okay, it holds five. Minutes. Oh yeah, I wasn't lying to you for a change. I was telling you the truth. Can you believe that? And so it's loaded with a bolt back, uh, pretty bolt, nice uh, ergonomic uh, bolt handle. Uh, you know, in the promotional literature, uh, which I typically look at because I like to know what 
a company, uh, John and I were just talking about that for the video. I'd like to know what the company thinks is good about what their gun or whatever it is. And then maybe I can disagree or I don't agree or I don't think that's a big deal. But they do talk about the ergonomics of the rifle. And uh, it is, it, it feels good. I like the bolt and you know, just a, a good feeling rifle, no doubt about it. Okay, put my ears on and let's just shoot it a couple more times. Yeah, what else? It's got an alloy uh, receiver, but again, we got a steel uh, extension and, and the barrel and you know, steel is meeting steel, you know, where it, where it needs to be. Safety right here, so ambidextrous safety. And uh, let's just shoot something close, like a two liter right here. How about another? <laughs> no creed moral do it. I'm gonna go over here and see if I can hit that smallest red plate. And I can't waste ammo. <laughs> I need to get the hit. Oh, let's try that uh, cinder block. Chew it up. <laughs> yeah, good feeling rifle. Uh, the Creedmoor doesn't kick much, but uh, that's pretty nice. Yeah, sling attachments. Uh, it's got a nice trigger. It's got an adjustable length of pull. Yeah, there's inserts that either come with it or you can buy. I think they go in right here between the stock and the, the grip, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, well, the stock and, and the, the receiver. You know, the bolt comes out kind of like a Mauser. You know, you push in on this, pull it back, and it comes out. That's a pretty bolt. So, uh, get the mag out. And, uh, you know, it's an interesting rifle. Huh? I was not aware until recently that uh, Benelli had been uh, busy making a bolt action rifle, I, I'll have to say. Uh, so pretty cool benelli just whether it's a shotgun or whatever and of course they're famous for their shotguns they uh generally make good stuff don't they uh, a lot of people do but benelli certainly does and uh that's a, that's a smooth smooth action also notice this one feels good as you you sh take a shot you know, it's just really easy to leave it right there and work that bolt and you stay right on on target with it like my like my Saco, my Seiko. So, so let's load it from the uh, from the top. What else about it? Like I say, around 1500 bucks, I think 14, 15, 16, you, whatever you find it for for the rifle. And it does not come with with sights. Uh, that's why I ordered the one with the uh, scope on it. And it makes a nice package. I have to say this is a. Uh, Fusion, Federal Fusion, of course we're shooting. Uh, more round holds five. You know, I, you know, even though I don't hunt, I really uh, do have an appreciation for a fine bolt action, even scope sided rifle. It's just a, uh, you know, one that feels good. Uh, it's, it's just a pleasure to shoot. And, and I know this is, uh, for some of you, this is your, your favorite thing to shoot, right? And I was just joking. I'd be careful joking because a lot of people believe it. I'm not going to thread this barrel and put a suppressor on it today at least. No, this will go back to buds. All right. Oh, we've not done any bowling. Let's do a little bit. <laughs> Boom. Well, Creedmoor hits pretty hard. Let's put one on this target. Okay, I'm going to give you all a little bit of lesson. I'm not even going to charge you for it. I'm going to put the bulls or the, the crosshairs right in the middle of the red. I'm going to try to. And we'll see where the bullet goes. It should go probably at the bottom edge of the blue. <laughs> How's that for brilliant, right? <laughs> bottom edge of the blue. Okay, I'm gonna try a bowling pin staring at me right there. And we have another round or two. Uh, probably shouldn't shoot the gong with this. I'm gonna try the red plate on the right over there. Where is he? There he is. And that was it. Ended on a hit. Not bad, huh? 
So uh, yeah, the Lupo, uh, Benelli Lupo uh, means wolf. And uh, you know, the, the rifle is, uh, is supposed to be one of the most accurate, you know, bolt action rifles, and I guess in the class. Uh, with the great pains to free float the barrel and really stable and and be very very accurate uh it feels good you can adjust you know the the length of pull the trigger is very nice very nice it's uh, gotten off on me once or twice before not not in a dangerous way but uh before i meant to touch the round off even though it was about ready but just a little bit of pressure i'm not sure what the weight is on if it's a nice nice trigger and uh available in different chamberings so it might be something you want to consider uh negatives i don't know it's it's probably ugly to some people and uh you know if you compare it with a beautiful you know wood stock walnut stock model 70 or something yeah it is uh but uh, i guess we're all growing a little bit more accustomed to uh, things like this and maybe appreciating function a little bit more than maybe we used to because a rifle like this might actually fit better and feel better when you shoulder it and then actually shoot better than that beautiful Model 70 or Mauser. You know, so maybe not a lot of difference, not enough to matter if you're just deer hunting in the woods. Uh, but so, I mean, there's something to be said for a, a newer, uh, more uh, high-tech, you know, type of rifle like this. And uh, yeah, I, I'm not really bothered. You would think that'd be a turnoff because it's a little strange looking, but I don't know. Uh, to me, in some ways, that's more attractive than sometimes when you take a wooden stock design and you just make that same stock out of polymer. Because uh, then you know, I think you're more comparing it with the wooden version of that same stock. I don't know if that makes any sense. But this one is kind of a, a, an interesting looking design. I don't know. Sound like I'm trying to sell you this rifle. I'm not really trying to do that. <laughs> I don't care whether you like it or not or whether I like it or not. Uh, but I kind of like what I've experienced so far. And I like the cartridge. You know, I love the Swedish uh, round, the 6.5 by 55. Kind of the granddaddy of the, uh, the Creedmoor, 6.5 Creedmoor. So it's a very pleasant round to shoot. So any rifle chambered in it is going to be uh, pretty attractive to me and uh the scope looks pretty good i don't know if y'all can see through that or not but uh yeah, pretty nice i don't know where it's pointed it's pointed somewhere over there okay but uh pretty nice uh look there clear and uh don't y'all pull the trigger while you're looking there but so anyway pretty nice rifle i probably forgot to tell you something about it if you have one of these or you've had experience with it um you know share what your your thoughts are and your experience uh, uh, your experiences are with with the rifle it's, uh, it's pretty cool it's one i i have neglected to uh to bring to you all until now although we don't really do that many hunting rifles but uh, we probably should do more uh, one of the things that prevents me from jumping into them i see one online or whatever you're in buds you're know, going through is a lot of them do not have a scope they don't have any sights at all and uh, if i can find one that maybe has a scope already mounted for whatever reason then it's a little bit more attractive to me. Uh, or if it just has, you know, pretty good metallic sights, I'm, I'm good with that, you know. So uh, anyway, pretty nice rifle, the uh, Benelli uh, Lupo. Uh, yeah, what do you know about it? You got one? Have you shot it? Let us know. Life is good. Oh, fire. It's a long walk from where I had to shoot that. Oh, man. Oh, hey, didn't see you guys there. Since you're here, I want to let you know about our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall, talongungrips.com. Check out everything they have over there. You can get lots of different grips, the stick-on grip textures for your handguns and rifle grips, so go check them out. Also, Ballastall, they're a firearms lubricant or anything else you might need lubricating. Uh, it's water-soluble and non-toxic. Been using it on the compound and cleaning all of our guns. It's a cleaner and a lube for over 10 years. So Ballastall, Talon Grips, definitely check both of those companies out. And also, while you're on the internet, don't forget to go to Hickok45.com. You can also find us on Facebook, Hickok45, Twitter, Hickok45, Instagram, The Real Hickok45. And also, I have an Instagram page where I post behind the scenes stuff and different things like that. John, J-O-H-N underscore H-I-C-K-O-K-4-5 on Instagram. And uh, the next thing you have to do is watch more videos.